Dell Power HD 610 and in order to open the front panel you can simply press this and this front panel will open and here you can change the hard drives four drives can be installed in one bay and four drives can be installed in another bay right now I have installed only two drives here uh, it all depends what you want to have so this way you can fix the hard drives and then you can fix this over here so this has got the hardware RAID controller so I had these four drives in RAID 10 and these four drives in RAID 10 so this is being used as Proxmox backup server so I'll be just closing this and here on front you can see this is the status panel here you can see the drive status and all of that and these are the USB ports in case you want to lock this front panel that nobody should be able to uh, remove the drives so you will have a key and you can lock this from here I'll now show you what is there inside the server and how we can open this pull this upward remove the tray so here you can open this and two processors are installed right now and both the processors are having 16 and 16 GB RAM is for this particular processor and 16 and 16 GB RAM is for this particular processor onboard network card is here onboard USB here is the power supply here we have all the drives and this is the RAID controller which is installed and the drives are connected through the RAID controller here and here in case you want to have internal SSD you can also install the internal SSD here and CD-ROM is already connected but in externally you can install for the storage the front drive so I'll be installing the Proxmox backup server on the SSD drive here and these I'll be using for the backup in case you want to install the NAS server you can also install true NAS here so you can install the operating system in SSD and then these you can use as a storage alternatively this also comes on board USB port you can put the flash disk over here so there are various reasons why you would use this I was using unraid on this so unraid can also be installed on USB and then the front drives can be used for the storage so USB flash disk can be used for the operating system there are many other operating systems also that you can install on USB flash disk and in case you want to install the CMOS battery so CMOS battery can be installed here you can remove the CMOS battery and you can fix the CMOS RS 2032 is the battery that you can put it in two fans over here onboard power supply slots and it can easily fix the cold air will be sucked from here through these two fans the hot air will go out and what I have noticed in this server is that this particular server is quiet there are five PCI Express slots here is the battery for your RAID controller here is the RAID controller and the battery in case you want to remove or replace the battery you can easily do that so in order to close this server here we go so two power supplies are there simply remove this from here so you can see 870 watts is the power supply and it has also the cable management here and in order to put it back you will simply slide this in push this and there will be a sound of click two power supplies are available the fans can be seen over here six USB ports are here so network interface card two onboard NICs are there and then this is the management console here is the UID turn on when you are working on the server and of course these are all the PCI slots so this is quite server which I'm using for home lab I turn it on only when I have the scheduled backup of my Proxmox so home automation system will turn this on on every Friday Proxmox backup schedule will run and then this will turn off for a home lab I don't think that 860 watts is something that I would like to use 24 by 7 it is turned off it has already done its job for today 